Hi everyone, it's Kesman Close YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about our lineups if I came against Essen for tomorrow at 3.20 or 3.10, wherever it is. If you're returning Magpie, Kevs and Magpies, welcome back. Like, comment. If you are new to the channel, you're watching this for the first time, as per usual. Um, I did my preview, so that will be up on YouTube. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. On top of that. As per usual, if you're if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. Um, so I went through the whole went through the game on how we need to play against Essendon. It's known on what we're capable of. We're capable of putting on a shoot performance. Or capable of really playing some good footy um, as much as possible so I feel like we can certainly do it but we're gonna have to really start playing well and really performing four quarters of that as much as possible um, so I'll go through the, the, the lineups So Jeremy Howe isn't in. Rental and Wilson are in. Out is McRae, McCreary and Hoskin Elliott. Not not Hoskin Elliott, I mean my check. Now my check is out suspended for that week. So that gives me chances are that we're probably going smaller in that. So, not bad, if I can say that myself. I think we're going to have to start performing really well. And showing something. Um, as well as anything. So, if we can do that, why not? Now, our back line is Maynard, Ruffhead and Howe, Cripps, Madron and Noble. Now, the obvious matchup for me is Stringer on Jeremy Howe. Um, look, Drake Stringer, he'll spend time in the midfield as well. You feel like maybe Jordan Degoe will go on to him for that. You feel like that's the way that we're going to have to play. Defensively, you know, I think that we're all set on that. I don't think that we'll lose any other ways of performing. But other than that, I, th I feel like our back line is strong when it comes to the main Dugowie and Dacos with Grundy, Sarbottom and Adams. Um... I, th I feel like Grundy on to great Draper, I think that's going to be a good matchup. I want to see Buddy Grundy take him down and really use his speed. Use his speed, get away from the contest, really start launching, and then that way we can perform well into that and really show something that okay well, if we break down the Essen defense and and Essen's midfield let's try and get on top let's just use our speed through the stoppages and really take the game on when we can as well I like main I like the goey and Dacos on the wing so I feel like that's going to be the way that we go about this um not much I can say on that as well, like, because you know what you're going to get. You really are. Um, statistically, I think, you know, we are a young mutual team, but I feel like we can certainly win this and perform really well as much as possible. So we'll see that. We'll see how Essen perform. Um, knowing that, we'll see 
or what can happen. Um, but until then, you know, it, it's going to be a big task. Now, I'd like to talk about our forward line. Dawson Hebbles on Josh Thomas. So, that's going to be an interesting matchup. And he's been playing a halfback for the whole year. Didn't watch that game at all because I was watching the um, Fremantle and West Coast game. It's really strange to see what would have happened. We all know that Gold Coast was going to to perform well anyway. Um, on top of that, you feel like that was going to be the last chance of that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is in that situation as well. Um, so, Jamie Elliott, Darcy Cameron, and of course Jack Evernon. I think that's a really good matchup as well. Hoskin Elliott, Oliver Henry, and... As I said, Josh Thomas as well. On top of that, we need to use this game really well. Let's take this advantage of what Essendon do and really start using that as much as possible. Um, other, than, other than that, we're going to have to do it. Um, theoretically. Now... Mur the interchange we got Murphy, Wilson, Rentel, and Bianco. I think that's not bad having these kids out there. Who I feel, all right, you got to start using it. And why not when you're up and about early, you got to really take the, the most of the opportunities and really back yourself in at this stage of the game because you, you know that our four line is good, we're playing smaller. So that gives us a chance to really lower our eyes when we go forward. But then that forces Grundy to work extra hard on top of that um, as much as possible. So that's how I see it anyway. I think Rentel, see see what he's got. you got nothing to lose. you got nothing to lose on, on Murphy as well. And Tom Wilson, I think that he's going to hopefully take his spot up and really start pushing to the senior team as well as anything else. Now on the emergencies because there is four. Will Kelly, Finley McRae, um, Reef McInnes and Bo McCreary. I think the first choice of that is what I see. Finley McRae as my first choice, and my second choice is, of course, Bo McCreary. I think why I do say that, and there will be a surprise, that there, there will be a surprise, like, like in, you won't expect this, but this does not surprise me. But I will not be surprised if they have Will Kelly as a medical sub. They play recently. Even though he's injury prone, I still think he can play a part. I think with him and McRae, if the back line does go injured, you can put Murphy in there and potential imagine. But other than that, I reckon you you will see something out of that as much as possible and, and really hope for that. McCreary, he can, if a four gets injured, you can play him really well. And, and play on that part. And Will Kelly, I think he can be for both forward or defence. So it does really depend. I, I don't think they'll play him as a medical sub, but that's a surprise package. 
so that's how I see it we'll talk about more about it now my tits are Collingwood by 17 points I did do my predictions but Jack Cripps to have 26 disposals and I had one more prediction on that and have six marks Jeremy Howe 15 disposals and seven marks as well well, that's the end of my line arts video until next year um, for the AFL. Might do it for the women's as well. For more AFL Collingwood content, there will be the final review. So I'll do that. But until next time, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell your neighbours, go the boys. And until then, let me know what you think. Until then, bye for now, Pies fans.